Good morning, children and parents. I hope you're all well and keeping safe. I'm going to go through the remote learning for week beginning the 10th of January 2022. So let's go through the timetable. So on Monday, Monday um, is our reading focus. OK, we're still continuing to look at the story that we looked at last week, which is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. The children have really enjoyed it. So we'll have different activities linked to that book. OK, um, our nursery aim of the week is 10 in a bed. So if you can go onto YouTube and that you can play that and learn that nursery rhyme. So um, we start off with wake up, shake up, then we move on to our phonics. Then, as I said, our reading focus is all day on a Monday. OK, this is when we get to hear the children read at school. So can you please make sure at home that you're listening to your child read, helping them to blend and segment to read words. OK, then we've got our handwriting, then it's dinner time. Get something to eat, get a big drink and try and get outside and get some fresh air if you are allowed to. Then we've got in the afternoon, we've got wake up, shake up. We've got our emu, all the um, information is on the planning, our number of the week, which is number four. And then we continue with our reading focus after our emu. Then every day at the end, we have a story and a piece of fruit. Then we move on to Tuesday. So Tuesday is our writing focus. So once we do all our reading on a Monday, that prepares us for our writing. So we've got wake up, shake up, then we've got our phonics. And then this week, as well as last week, linked to Goldilocks and the Three Bears, we are going to be writing captions and labels. OK, so follow the planning. Make sure you use a line and make sure you've got a capital letter at the beginning. Um, and try your very best to do your neatest, most beautiful handwriting. Then we've got our kinetic letters handwriting just before lunch. Then we've got wake up, shake up. Then we've got our emu and then we finish off with our writing. There are child initiated activities for you to do as well. Please try and complete those. Then we've got fruit and a story at the end of the day. Then we move on to Wednesday. Wednesday in the morning is our maths focus. So we've got wake up, shake up, phonics. Then we've got our maths, handwriting. Then it's dinner. Then we've got wake up, shake up. And then if you had been at school, you would have been doing your explorative learning, your outdoor learning with Mrs. Palmer. So please follow her planning on a separate document. Then you've got fruit and a story at the end of the day. Then we move on to Thursday, always our busiest day of the week. So we've got our wake up, shake up. We've got our phonics in SEAL today. We um, introduced last week the new SEAL theme, which is good to be me. We all talked about why it's good to be you, what things you're good at, what things you enjoy doing. You should all be very, very proud of the things that you can do. So today we're going to be talking about how, what makes you proud to be you. What are the things that your mum, your dad, your nan, your granddad, everybody says they're very, very proud of you because. So then after that, we've got our PE. Last week we looked at balancing for gymnastics. We're going to carry on looking at balancing. So there's some nice activities for you to do to help you with your balance. Then we move on to handwriting. Then we've got our lunch. Then we've got our wake up, shake up in the afternoon to get ourselves ready for our learning. We've got our emu and then we've got our topic. OK, last week for our topic, we looked at using different materials to create the bears from the story. This week, I want you to use different materials, whatever materials you can find. It could be paint. It could be paper. It could be card. It could be pasta, anything at all that you could use in your cupboards to create Goldilocks. A nice idea might be if you had spaghetti, dried spaghetti, that you could use that for her hair because it's like a golden colour. So please, we'd love to see any pictures on tapestry. Send them in to Mrs. Fellows and Early Phase as we'd love to see your work. Then we've got fruit and a story at the end of the day. Then finally, it's our Further Learning Friday. So we've got our Wake Up, Shake Up. We've got our phonics. And then our Further Learning Friday is all again going to link to Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So you could be retelling the story. You could be pretending that you're Goldilocks. And if you've got some siblings that are at home, you could pretend they're the Three Bears. So can you try and retell the story and remember all the words that we've been learning? OK, the link for the Goldilocks is still on the planning. So just go onto YouTube, click on that link, and you'll be able to listen to the story again and again. 
As I said last week, there are different versions of the story. Look at all as many different ones as you can and see which one you prefer. And then in the afternoon, you've got your wake up, shake up. We've got our emu and we've got our child initiated, which is a lovely end to a Friday. That's when you can get out your Lego, your toys um, and you learn through play. It could be Play-Doh, it could be dressing up costumes, anything that you have. Um, do that in the afternoon, please. And then finish your week with a nice story and a piece of fruit. Don't forget each morning to do check in with your child. Ask them just a question, just it could be anything. Um, what was Goldilocks's favorite porridge? What was the bear sad about? What was baby bear sad about? Okay, try and link it to the story where you can. If not, it could be just your favorite food, what you like doing, what's your hobbies. And then also don't forget each morning to um, also do your zones of regulation to see what zone your child is in. Okay, remember we try to be in the green zone to do our best learning. Um, but sometimes we might wake up, we're a bit tired in the blue zone, or we might be a bit silly or excited in the yellow zone. Let's see if we can get ourselves to the green zone as quickly as we can to do our best learning. I hope you all have a lovely week. If you've got any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to contact Mrs. Fellows and she will get in touch with us and we will get back to you. Also, don't forget, please read every day. And also you've got your purple mash and the homework that is uploaded each week. And then when you're finished, you can bring your work back into school. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.